Welcome to today's webinar. I'm happy that you have joined us for today's webinar titled Insights into Fast Drying Traffic Paint Formulations. This webinar is devoted to sharing best practices and state-of-the-art knowledge in raw materials. It is also intended to highlight solutions offered by BASF to address pressing needs in the industry. Today's webinar focuses on the needs of the construction and pavement marking industry. My name is Beverly Andrews, and I am the technical team leader for the construction solutions business at BASF. In this role, I am responsible for the laboratory and project activities among various market segments with a focus on construction coatings. I joined BASF in 2015 and have over 15 years of experience in the chemical industry. I hold a bachelor's degree in engineering from Clemson University. I'm also happy to introduce today's other speaker, Dr. Armin Burkhart. Armin is a senior scientist and team leader in the product development group for construction solutions at BASF. In his role, Armin is responsible for product development and new technology evaluation in segments such as pavement markings, roof coatings, and flooring adhesives. He joined BASF in 2000, holding R&D type positions with increasing responsibilities ever since. Armin holds a PhD in chemistry from the University of Würzburg in Germany. Now onto our agenda. During our time today, we are going to review pavement markings, market overview, chemistry fundamentals, formulation considerations, and BASF formulation expertise. To review the US pavement marking technologies, we have listed the different types of technologies and their market value, with the total value of the market segment being over $1.2 billion. As you can see, water-based traffic paint covers 52% of the market value, with thermoplastic at 21% and tape at 23%. Some of the advantages of fast drying traffic paint are safety for the installers, shortened road closures, ease of application, including ease of cleanup, and also the environmental benefits. And now on to the chemistry fundamentals of fast drying traffic paint. Thank you, Armin. So let's take a deeper dive into, into water-based traffic paint binders. In my role as an R&D scientist, I'm concerned with attaining the desired product features through chemistry manipulation of the emulsion polymer binder. Here you see the key latex design elements, for example, the choice of main monomers and functional monomers, also the particle size and the morphology, which may be the presence of more than one phase in the polymer, also additives and a cross-linking system. On the next slide, you see it how the paint properties are impacted by those design elements. For example, while the main monomer choices define the polymer TG, that's the hardness and the softness of the film or the coating, the functional monomers impact particle surface makeup, thus the colloidal stability and the filler compatibility in the paint. Particle size and particle morphology influence rheology and ease of formulation. Also, the adhesion cohesion balance. The type and amount of the cross linker impacts the dry time of the paint. That's the no tracking time, which is a very important feature of the traffic paints. On the next slide, we'll go a little bit deeper on the cross linking mechanism. We have to ensure that cross-linking is not happening in the liquid paint, but only on the road surface, because we don't want the paint to set up. Therefore, we have to keep the cross-linker in a dormant state in the liquid paint, controlled by maintaining a high pH. And the activation of the cross-linking system happens through application on the road surface while the pH is dropping. 
the efficiency and speed of the cross-link and network buildup governs the, the paint dry time. So on the next slide, we see that in practice, we realize that the paint stability and the fast drying characteristics are conflicting properties to some degree. You can imagine that any trick that enhances the colloidal stability will not help the dry time and vice versa. Our main levers for this balance have to do with the particle surface design, which means functional groups and surfactants that are on the particle outer surface. Also, the cross-linker type and dosing are important and, and the water phase species. Now, through careful balancing, it is possible to get to a realm where the paint is both stable and fast drying. And this is how our Acronol Express 4347 is designed. So now we are going to some formulation considerations. Thank you very much, Armin. Here you will see a general traffic paint formulation. The raw materials are given in ranges of percent. You can see that the main ingredient is the latex. We recommend Acronol Express 4347. I'll later review a formulation specific to Acronol Express 4347. The highlighted raw materials will be covered further in depth on our next slides. pH is a very important consideration for traffic paint formulations. When the pH is less than 10, the formulation offers less shelf stability. The pH is what drives the traffic paint performance and stability. We re recommend adjusting the pH to greater than 10 using ammonia. A high pH offers shelf stability. Once the traffic paint is applied, the ammonia liberates, the pH drops, and film formation begins. You can see in the chart dry time versus pH. As pH increases, dry time increases. This also affects the stability of the paint coating formulation. Another key choice when formulating is the dispersant. Dispersant helps with paint formulation stability. Traffic paints are high PVC coatings and the high amount of filler needs to be controlled. Dispersant choice is key. Dispersant helps with pigment stability and shelf stability and also to improve the tint strength. Tip Typical dispersant load is 0.2 to 0.4%. BSF recommends Dispex AA4040NS as a high quality dispersant for traffic paint coatings. Coalescing agents are critical for traffic paint dry time. BSF recommends Loxanol CA5086. Loxanol CA5086 is a zero VOC coalescent agent. It offers excellent film formation. With zero VOCs, Loxanol CA5086 can be used to replace Texanol, a higher VOC additive. Loxanol CA5086 offers superior freeze thaw stability and is also environmentally friendly. Loxanol CA5086 can also help with dry time. When it is used to replace texanol, more methanol can be used in the formula. As the graph indicates, as methanol level is increased, dry time is decreased, while still being able to keep VOC levels under 100 grams per liter. In conclusion, here is a white traffic paint formulation using BSF's Acronol Express 
4347. Along with other BASF additives, Dispex AA4040 NS, Hydropallet WE3323, Foamstar ST2410, Loxanol CA5086. BASF is here to be your formulation partner. We are experts in formulating. This guiding formulation for Acronol Express 4347 is designed for fast drying traffic paint application. And as we have discussed, additive, additive selection directly enhances performance. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to any questions. Here are the contact information for Armin Burkhart and Beverly Andrews. We look forward to your questions and please visit our website. Thank you.